Alright, man. <laughs> Nigga had to get dressed for this one. Let's get into it. Torture Talk, you know what it is. Time for that review of this another LP by Griselda's own Conway the Machine. This time he's teaming up somebody named Big Ghost. I guess Big Ghost is the uh, producer of this one. I think the last one was done by Alchemist, and Big Ghost is doing this one. Okay, so no mourning for the wicked. Uh, no one mourns for the wicked. Uh, that's what it is. Here it is right here. So, let's get right into it, man. Another repeat offender. West Side Gun, man. Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine. Together they form Griselda. I like West Side Gun. I like Penny the Butcher. And I like Conway the Machine. So Conway drops this new LP. The thing about Conway is I'm just gonna come out and say it. These guys, I mean, I like Griselda a lot. I do. But I guess I guess if it's not broke, don't try to fix it type of mentality these ha these guys have and it's like I get it, but at the same time we have to be fair here. There's there's other artists that's making way more superior music than these dudes. And it's like we give these guys a pass because these guys remind us of the 90s they remind us of that hardcore street lyric lyricism the, the, the dope boy music the crack era but we gotta be honest with ourselves i can't really go any higher with a score for these guys because they keep putting out the same content and people could say, oh yeah, it was album of the year, that was album of the year. Not to me. Stop it with this. Because it's it's it becomes a thing now where it's like you're getting the same material from these guys, just over different beats. Now for this project, the beats carried this project. And the beats was okay. It wasn't even better than the last project, the Lulu. And the Lulu to me was okay. It was a six, a strong six or a light six. But my problem with these dudes is if this is all we're going to get from y'all, then how can I give you a better score? It's like if you're putting out two or three projects a year, three, four, five, six, seven, eight projects, nine projects, ten, and they all sound similar or the same, how do you expect me to give you a better score? if most of your music sounds exactly the same. It's not like, okay, we're all rappers and you're rapping and you rap the same. But where's the growth? It's like you guys been doing this for a long time and it's like if I go back and I, if I listen to the Lulu and I listen to this, if I was, all right, let's be fair. If I never heard of Conway and I listened to the Lulu and I listen to this, and I listen to the, the ghosts, and I listen to all these other CDs. Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to be able to tell the difference of which album is which. If somebody said, where, where did they hear that song from? Where did he get that song from? What album was that on? I'm not going to be able to tell them what album it was from. Because there's nothing that signifies that that's that album. So like, with this album, again... The instrumentation is okay. You know, the mixing was alright. 
But it's just the same old re repeated offender shit. Nothing different. It's like, okay, yeah, I heard all this before. And we live in a time now where you could be fired doing this, but it only takes you to a certain extent. And for me, I want more from you guys because I know y'all could do better. And it's not even that y'all could do better. I know y'all could do different. You know what I'm saying? And still be yourselves. But it gets to a certain point where you gotta, you gotta split the crossroad. You can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep doing music like this because it's not gonna work. It's not. I mean, for your fan base, cool. I'm a fan. But I want to see y'all grow beyond this. I want to see y'all rock stadiums. Well, y'all can rock stadiums where beyond this. Not something that's just like, you doing it for you or you going because you're still in the streets. Okay, cool. That's fine. But I can't give you a better score because there's no growth. So... As far as the instrumentation goes, the album was cool. As far as the uh, the lyrics go, of course, you know, Conway's Conway's a pretty good rapper. You know what I mean? I think he dropped a level on this one though. Not like a big level, but I just think that the Lulu was a little more lyrical than this one. Um, he had a couple of features on here, which I thought was okay. Um, I don't really want to deep dive into that because I want people to hear. There's another there's another thing too. I want y'all to understand about me. I don't really deep dive in these albums where I actually talk about breaking my part and all this stuff because I want people to actually go listen to the album for themselves. Because then if I get too technical, then people will say I'm being super biased. I'm just giving my opinion, the review of what I think of the whole album and its entirety, but not me deep diving into every track. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, again, uh, Album was okay. I gave it light six, pushing down to a five. I think that uh, even though it's more songs than the Lulu, it's something I probably would never listen to again. And I think that I think that uh, Conway and them need to start reevaluating right now. Instead of waiting until it becomes too late, because where it becomes too late at is now your fans expect you to rap this way. So when you try to do something different, they're going to jump ship on you. So I think that they should try now to do more things. Diversify yourselves, because right now it's just, it's just not working. So... Like, share, subscribe to the page. Tell me what you think about the album. No one warns for the wicked. Light six, pushing down to a five. Griselda, Griselda. Get y'all shit thick.